Well, that gum. It's already fall. You know what that means? Uh, well, actually, it just means we do our normal job, mowing lawns and uh, landscaping. But today is going to be a little bit different. We get to go and pick up something brand new. I'm super excited about it. Now, if you guys may or may not remember, we used to have a case here, an old case open cap tractor. We actually got rid of that because today we're going to pick up two new tractors. So uh, this should be pretty cool. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton. And I appreciate it so much. And you know what? You're down there. If you're not subscribed yet, we're trying to hit 200K by the end of the year. And we're super dang close. So subscribing helps a ton. I just got to move this in here kind of weirdly. Got to fill up with diesel. I really did not put this thing in the best spot. I probably could have put it somewhere way better. But uh, this works, I guess. All right. Truck is filled up with diesel. Let's go pick up our new tractor. Well, new tractors. There, there's multiple of them. And then I think after that, we actually have a few jobs on the board. So going to be a busy day for us. You know what? I, I actually forgot about something here. We got to go get breakfast first. Can't be working without breakfast. I'm just going to uh, park right here. I, I hope you guys don't mind. All right. With that out of the way, I actually just realized my truck is really dirty. We're going to wash it when we get home because I uh, can't be having a dirty truck on the job. That ain't going to fly. By the way, Christmas is right around the corner. So if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, check out Apex Gaming PCs. You can get 5% off using code farmer at checkout and pick from loads of options on the farmer PCs. Anyway, back to the video. Well, here we are. Look at this. All right, let's go and uh, just get parked here. We'll go and take a look at these things. Oh, man, who knocked down the sign? Oh, man. Okay, that couldn't have been me. So these are our brand new tractors here. Unfortunately, they did not come with decals, but uh, that's fine. So this one right here is a Kubota with the loader. Of course, we got a fork on the front. So if we want to move some pallets around or whatever else, we can do that. And then we've got a backhoe on the back. So if we want to do some digging, maybe build a pond or something, we can do that. This is going to be perfect for that. And then right here, just kind of a basic John Deere, not too much extra here but i think i got some cool attachments that uh, we're going to be buying for this thing in the future and uh, definitely going to be putting them on but we're going to get the trailer unfolded here get these things on and uh, get back home because i'm excited to use them by the way if you guys want these things for yourself on pc only they're on lance's patreon it'll be linked down in the description if you guys want to go check it out so something really cool i wanted to show you guys before we load these things up on the trailer is you can actually get on the back and work the entire backhoe setup like pretty much do whatever you want and uh the stabilizers do work as well so i can't wait to actually put this thing to work it's gonna be cool to use way better than the case just gotta get it all folded up here before we get it put on the trailer hold on are we gonna be able to fit both on here i hope so actually you know what we're gonna have to turn this thing around maybe i need a bigger gooseneck trailer there we go now we should be able to fit this john deere on and if we can't well i guess we'll just have to come back for a second load but it should just be able to fit on there oh yeah we got lots of space Perfect. We'll get everything strapped down and we'll be on our way. Well, we made her back to the yard here. Uh, where am I going to park this thing? Yeah, we'll just put it right about here. I actually need to start putting stuff in my real shop. The big red one over there because we currently have everything in this one. And that's kind of getting full. And as far as I'm aware, actually, this backhoe and this front loader will fit on the John Deere. So if we want to swap them over, we can. But that might look really silly with the orange paint scheme on uh, the John Deere. All right, we'll just get this thing backed on in here. And we're actually going to grab a mower because we're going to head over to another job. We're just going to be cleaning a bunch of old brush up and then mowing the lawn and stuff. Getting it all nice and clean and ready for winter here. Just a bunch of year-end jobs. We have tons and tons of clients we got to go to. So it's going to be a busy couple of weeks. But hey, soon enough, we'll be on snow plowing. Well, let's get this thing loaded back up again. Dang deer are still messing up the grass on my lawn. Can't get rid of them. Well, here we are. Um, yeah, there's definitely a few trees down. The lawn definitely needs to be mowed. All right. Well, I guess we'll back in here and we'll get to work. I do think first things first is getting those trees cleaned up, though, because we can't really mow around that. So got to get those cleaned up. So we actually don't have to uh, go and dispose of these trees. We just got to kind of put them in the back there and uh, they should be good. At least that's what the owner said. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll get to work. I think we're only going to need this for right now. Maybe I need some sort of log grapple or something. That might help. Maybe eventually we'll have to get one. Well, I guess we'll start with this tree. Hey, maybe we can push it. Maybe the Kubota has enough power that it can actually just push it right out of the way. All right. Dang, it's it's actually pushing it. Can't uh, lift it very far by any means here, but it's working. The tree's actually not as big as it looks. Those are just all branches there. All right, let's cut this thing into like two or three chunks, and then we can actually move it a little bit easier. Got the old trusty still. There we go. Let's delimb this a little bit. Boy, it's a bit less of a pain. Well, we're definitely going to have to deal with a few limbs here, but that shouldn't be an issue. 
All right, let's just move some of these out of the way so I can actually get to the log because currently it's a little bit blocked. There we go. Now let's see if this thing can lift it. Ah, it's still a little bit on the heavier side. Let's cut it into one more chunk here. There we go. Now we're talking. So I talked to the owner here and he said just dump them off the side of the property. Doesn't matter which way. Just as long as he can't see him, that's all he cares. So we're going to dump him off right in the bushes here. There we go. Well, this thing seems to be actually working pretty good so far. Pretty easy to maneuver. Actually can lift a decent amount because we got that uh, backhoe on the back. So definitely gives us a big counterweight there. Well, we got two logs on here. I guess we'll see how this goes. How high can we lift it up here before we start tipping? Uh, yeah, it's starting to lift up the back wheels a little bit. Just got to be a little careful. Maybe run it a little closer to the ground there and that'll work i think we'll deal with all the limbs later just kind of want to get the big trees out of the way this one's gonna have to go kind of up a hill here to take it to where we're dumping all the logs so hopefully this thing can handle it should be able to well limbs are off here let's just cut this and yeah, we'll try two chunks why not might be a little bit heavy if it is we can just uh cut it one more chunk and we'll be good come on Kubota. don't let me down here there we go we got it now oh hitting a log please don't tip on me gotta lift it way over this fence here so we don't smack it going out but hey we got it we're cruising now i think this is about the max weight this thing's gonna be able to take here before it starts to tip just grab this log here and then i think we only got one more tree to go and then we can actually get to mowing uh oh don't fall off getting awful close just a little bit further and that'll do it perfect and then we got that big boy there we're gonna try move it off the fence because it's currently on there looks like it didn't smash the fence so that's good we'll just try see if we can move this a little bit this is as high as our fork goes here we can just barely push it with the top of it maybe if i angle oh boy that came down and that's gonna do it look i don't know how this is staying on but i'm just accepting it we're just gonna try get this thing to the pile oh there we go kind of flattened back out there getting a pretty good pile going there and that is gonna do it so the owner said just put all the brush here kind of in a pile and he'll deal with it and then we can get on to mowing there well there's one pile done two more to go i really like this yard it actually looks quite nice with a good mow and cleanup it's gonna look even better perfect all done cleaning up trees actually didn't take as long as i thought it would it was pretty fast with this new thing all right time for the best part of any yard cleanup the mowing this is a pretty big yard here so it's gonna take a little while it's gonna look awesome when it's done though oh boy we're jumping the mower just had a chat with the owner here he says he only wants kind of the uh main yard done none of the side parts there he doesn't want me to go too far back there so that is all good with me because if we were gonna have to mow this entire property it would probably take i don't know like eight hours there's a lot here big old stump there gotta watch out for that i kind of walked the lawn there just made sure there was nothing big or rocks or anything that was going to absolutely destroy my mower blades because i've done that before where you just don't walk the property and then you absolutely destroy your mower blades and it's not a fun time especially when you're like a couple hours away from the shop in this instance we're only about like 45 minutes so it's not too bad well got a good portion of the yard done here just got to move on to kind of the front part and then we're about good he said he didn't want over here done so i guess it's just kind of the front part in the barn and we're good to go oh that and that light post there gotta get that done there we go look how good this yard's looking now just gonna get around this light post here and then there's just a little bit of cleanup i want to do kind of back over here wasn't looking the best along this shed what the heck um i think i just heard something snap hold on i gotta check this out oh man the belt belt on the deck i don't even have a spare one with me all right well i guess we'll uh take this back to the trailer and oh man i don't even have a spare one usually i do but i used it on the last mower and i was supposed to go pick some up at john deere but uh, they didn't have them in so they were ordering them in but john deere's closed by now so i guess we might have to go back and uh grab a different mower just to finish this job because we got another one right at home so that's not an issue we don't even have much left to do we're pretty much done but gotta come back here finish the job because uh no sense oh i jumped on that wrong one as i was saying no sense in leaving this job unfinished so we'll go take the rest of this home here and then uh book it back and try finish this job by the end of the day which shouldn't be too hard we were so close to being done too we couldn't it couldn't have gave me like five more minutes five more minutes i would have been done but no no belt had to go then i guess it's better than doing it at the start of the job but still pretty dang frustrating and yeah i think john deere like just closed so we can't even go there well i guess next time i go there i'll just have to buy like four or five belts you know just in case gotta be darn sure i guess well we're back i gotta mow my lawn it's getting pretty tall i'm thinking i just may as well unload all this stuff here and then uh, we'll grab a smaller trailer and just put that other lawn mower on because no sense in bringing this big stuff here back over to the property but so far i will say i'm very happy with the Kubota. i'm excited to try out the john deere once we get some more attachments for it definitely gonna be fun 
Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I wanted to put some stuff in the shop. Okay, I guess we'll have to go do that later. I guess this thing's out of commission until we get a new belt, which really sucks. Well, since we're here, let's just give this a wash. There we go. That's already looking a million times better. I really would like to get that old OBS over there done so I can actually use that for a work truck instead of always having to use this big thing because this thing is not easy on diesel. It's fine because it's a work truck, but still. Get out of here, dear. Quit tearing up my lawn. I don't even think this drop hitch is enough. It's still like crazy high. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.